at the start of the stage, there was time to catch up and also have a little bit of banter too. Ivan, we can make a deal today? <laughs> no, no, I don't trust you for the deal. We come to bivouac, zero. <laughs> and we start, ah, we start ah. second week, you know. Like you know. It's, just, it's just start of the race. Yes. <laughs> After a reliable run with the Pro Drive car to date, stage six saw the luck turn with the brick based team as a broken suspension arm at 97 kilometers in put pay to Sebastian Loeb's run. He awaits a replacement. <laughs> Ultra fast is not the way of the Dakar, but that is precisely how Nani Roma has got Pro Drive into a fantastic fifth overall on their first ever rally raid. He's in high heel and he's happy. Isidre Esteve used to be a works KTM rider, an accident leaving him in a wheelchair, but this is his fifth Dakar on four wheels and it's in a new Toyota. He's kept all his favourite mechanics and he's got a great team. Yesterday's winner, Janil de Villiers, was still struggling with a stiff neck, so every hard landing hurts. He found the broken dunes really tricky, but even after a couple of punctures, he came home in eighth. Fellow South African Brian Baraguana was ranked 39th as the event got underway a week ago, but they've thrashed through. He and Tay Perry brilliantly to be into sixth. At the halfway point of Dakar 2021, we're seeing a truly golden era of Dakar history unfolding in front of us. Every driver's got their own point to prove, and Stefan Perhansel is one of them. He lost just 17 seconds today, and he still holds the overall lead. Nasser Alatia knows he has to keep the pressure on, and he's doing just that with throttle traces regularly at 100% on the data. The Qatari pit pet Hansel by a whisker for third today, but there's nothing in it. He may be five hours back after earlier problems, but Yazid Al Raji planned to go flat out from the start, and he did just that with second today in the overdrive Toyota. Carlos Sainz bolted out of the blocks this morning, determined and single-minded to make amends for the frustrations of the last few days. He was quickest at every single waypoint from start to finish as he appeased his anger. He didn't find it difficult, so was happy to just drive fast. With two World Rally Championships under his belt, it was far more his style. Today, basically, we didn't have any problems at all. The stage was pretty simple without any crossing tracks. A lot of sand and dunes, we had good pace. And I'm happy at last to manage a clean stage. Sainz taking the victory by four minutes ahead of Al Raji. Alatir in third, just a whisker ahead of Peter Hansel. And overall at the halfway point, Pet Hansel's lead is just under six minutes ahead of Alatia. The fight is on. Sainz, Prisgonski and Roma.